Hello there. It is I. And as you can tell from this background, this is an intro. Hello there. It is I. And guess where I am? The fuck am I? Today we're at UBC and we're asking people why did they pick UBC? Did they make the right choice? Was it everything they expected it to be? This is Vancouver Talks. Okay, so why are you here at UBC? Why did you pick UBC? Uh, kind of an outdoors guy, the mountains and stuff, so it's like no better place for skiing, mountain biking, rock climbing, hiking. That's the uh, main thing. Personally, it was the campus and, yeah, it was mostly the campus and the location. It's just really pretty. And also, I guess for us, forestry, it's yeah. pretty good for that kind of stuff. <laughs> my sister went to UBC and I remember always visiting her when I was younger and I just loved the campus. It's so beautiful. I honestly don't think there's a prettier campus and um, the vibes are just really good. It's a really good student life like AMS and calendar. Like I just feel like it's a really good vibe here and everyone's super connected which is nice. Well I'm a dual national and uh, United States and Canada and so I wanted to pick a school in Canada because it would be less expensive for me and then I wanted somewhere where I could go swimming. So is this your first year or second year at UBC? Third, third year. Third year? Third year. Yeah. All right, okay. So what, why did you pick UBC in the first place? Uh, the weather predominantly and the campus life here. Yeah, pretty much those two things. And I wanted to come to Canada for some time, so. UFD and UBC were kind of the only options I was looking into, and gotcha. UBC had a better weather, so, and like it also had a much better campus life, so brought me here. Same, Toronto weather sucks, Vancouver's pretty chill, it's a beautiful place as well, that's why. And UBC primarily because like, uh, it's a diverse school, you get people from all over, so yeah, I wanted to experience that. Yeah, same, because yeah. of the weather and plus we have a beach on campus, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. and I'm like a beach fan, so that's why. Why did you pick UBC over any other school? Uh, well, for me specifically is because I live in Burnaby. And he's either this or SFU, and I guess UBC is a better engineering program, and that's what I'm in right now. Okay. There's a lot of factors to it. Uh, I think, obviously, the campus, because I've been here before, so I really enjoyed the campus when I came here. Uh, I've heard, because I'm from Quebec, there was no real winters here, so, and I just heard good things about UBC in general, so it made sense for me to just go somewhere else. And, that's why I went to UBC. Yeah, yeah good thing there's no cold winters here because it's, yeah. it's a lot of outdoors. It's rough though because I wasn't ready for the amount of rain that oh, there that, is. That. I was used to like being, although it was cold, like there was sun, but here like October to March is like gray rain every day. But you, I That's feel what like, they call it, rain cooler. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think it's very clear that the environment of UBC is really nice, just first starting with like the nature and all of that. But in addition, I just, even the environment of the students, I really appreciate how it's a really big school, but you can still find very niche and small areas with people that share hobbies with you. And I think that, you know, the UGO and the alma mater society for students um, do both do a really good job at that. So, yeah. Um, I grew up in Canada. And when it comes to options in this part of the world, it's the best place I think you can go to. In all honesty, I mean, you have the highest grade, or not the highest grade, obviously it's not ranked number one in this world in Canada, but when it comes to location, I mean, you can't pan around and see, I mean, maybe you can, but this place is beautiful, and yeah. there's really nowhere else I'd like to be other than, like, by the ocean, and in this part of the world, I think it's amazing. And in the States, I can't afford to go to school, I'm paying for education, so, like, I couldn't afford to go to school somewhere else, um, yeah. and I felt like this was the best option in Canada. And uh, is it your first year, second year, third year? Uh, I'm in second year at UBC. Second year? Yeah. So, like, is it as good as you hoped? It's as beautiful as I hoped in terms of, like, quality of classes and stuff. I'd say it's holding up, but I don't have uh, much to gauge it against. I've never been to, like, yeah. SFU. Fair enough. Was the school how you expected it to be? Um, not really. It's a bit different than I expected. I feel like there was a lot more people than I thought it was going to be, even though I knew how many people there were going to be. Like seeing it, you know, trying to get lunch at 12 or 1 p.m., it's almost impossible because there's always going to be people. But also the environment, uh, I feel like it's a lot more competitive than I initially expected. I knew UBC is, was a very good, is a very good school, but I didn't expect it to be that 
competitive, but you know that's part of that's part of being a UBC student. So yeah, it's a lot bigger than I expected walking around campus. But besides that, like I mean, it's kind of what I anticipated. Was it everything we expected? I feel like it was yeah. good. I mean, first coming to school is always scary, like finding friends. It, it, well, I did find it like difficult. That is true. Finding friends and getting out there. But once you put yourself out there, I think you can make a really good experience out of coming to school here. Yeah. That's just putting yourself out there. I, yeah, I agree but, with the like, whole friends. Thing. I did yeah. expect it to be easier <laughs> when I first came. But like, it just takes time and putting yourself out there and joining. Like different clubs and stuff. Yeah. Because I joined engineering, I didn't think that we'd have so much more courses and so many more exams than other courses. Because back in school, regardless of what you took, you had the same number of courses, the same number of assessments. Yeah. But when I came to university, that's when, in UBC, I found out that different courses, they have completely different workloads. And that was kind of surprising to me. Yeah. It's, it's, quite, it's quite rigorous over here. And plus, it's also difficult to meet people and people in your class, so that makes it more difficult in terms of uh, getting help in your classes and stuff. I feel like course-wise, UBC is pretty chill because you can take a lot of electives. Uh, it's different than schools in the UK and uh, probably India as well. So you probably explore different fields. Uh, like, for example, he joined engineering and then he shifted to like business, right? So he just took some business electives. I think that makes it much easier to decide what you want to be. It's not always you want to be in high school is good for you, right? Yeah. That's the thing. But so you then, get an opportunity But then explore. at the same time, if, I, if I'm pretty streamlined, focused on the course that I want to do, then I don't see the point of wasting money on electives. Fair. Yeah. And it's, at the same time, you're allowed to take electives, but changing between faculties is a huge process. It, it's a whole long application process, and it's not easy. So even though if you don't like, like I didn't want to be in engineering from second year, but I still had to because I because of the structure, I had to be there for another year and then only transfer out and that's... So you wasted like a year's tuition, yeah. right? Yeah, that's not fair. And um, are you first year or second year? I'm actually a fourth year. Fourth year? Yeah. Okay. Was the school what you expected it to be? Like, was it as good as you thought? I think the things that I, I had misconstrued maybe about the school were because a lot of my friends that I knew in high school went to like big American state schools and it definitely is different than like a big American yeah, state yeah. school. Yeah. Honestly, it was better than I expected it to be. I think that when you think about university, you think about it in a certain light. But being here actually in reality, uh, I really appreciate just, you know, how honestly there's so many resources available to students even in learning as well, um, from TAs to like tutoring sessions and all of that. And even just on a non-academic level, I really appreciate the extracurriculars as well that are offered here. So it's better than I expected actually. I would say there's a lot of stuff I didn't expect. I mean, when I was in high school, I was kind of opposed to the idea of secondary education, just as like the you have to go to school, it's mandatory. Mm -hmm. um, and I was pleasantly surprised about how efficient the system of like incentivizing you to actually work and educate yourself is. I feel completely different post like even two years or even starting my second year here. Is there anything about the school that you would change that something you wish it was different? <laughs> uh, I think uh, the student nightlife is not ideal i feel like it could be better um something i noticed in vancouver in general but oh, yeah. i feel like yeah ubc if you talk about ubc specifically i think there could be more kind of you know weekly events or yeah maybe more kind of student life after hours i think they're pretty slow with like responding to stuff or, like their, their coordination uh especially like admissions and housing is really like i don't know if i'm gonna get housing next year because uh, there's like the wait list is like 5,000 people now Jesus. so it's yeah wow. pretty wild but uh, besides that it's pretty good. I think something that was kind of hard for me is I really was interested in going to UBC because of like the research opportunities but just because there's a lot of students who are interested in research it can be extremely competitive to get into research here which kind of makes the research seem like unattainable unless you've already like been published before. And is there something about the school that you wish was different, something that could be better? Uh, I wish we had saunas. <laughs> yeah, I spent a lot of time exercising, and I mean, I know we're building a second gym here, which is awesome. Like, we are improving and increasing that stuff. Uh, 
like that opportunity for students as well but I really wish that there was more of like a rec and environment area for people to hang out and go and have fun. I don't know at times though it's there's so many students here that it's it can feel like as a person you're not as significant. Um, I don't not sure how UBC could change that because it is just a part of the school itself it is just at a very big school with a lot of people from everywhere um, even internationally but you know I feel like Sometimes I wish it was a little less like just, I guess, just a crowd of people and it's yourself. <laughs> so, yeah. I think yeah. we could have, since we're such a big school, like personally, I feel like we could have some more like school spirit, like for like the sporting games, like just more events would be fun. But I can't really think of anything else. I feel like I'd like more like program related kind of activities where like you get to meet people in your program. Yeah, that'd be nice yeah. too. Would you say it, there's a good student life or is not so much? Um, so it, it, I feel like my experience is very different because I've only been here since I've been to grad school. I don't know how undergrad, being here oh, as an undergrad okay. is because I wasn't here as an undergraduate. But I feel like as a graduate student, I think it, the experience is very different because it's a lot more, there's a lot less students in your classes, so I get to know them a lot more. Mm -hmm. uh, so from my experience, student life is good because I get to know people a lot because I'm in every class with them, like, you know, 10, 15 people every you know, per class, so it's very easy to get to know people and yeah. to see them after class or do different things. So that's easier. So for my experience, student life is okay. It's fine because you get to know, you get to really know people. I'm not, I've never been in a 300 people class oh, yeah, yeah. at UBC. So that's not my experience here, but yeah. I feel UBC could be more flexible in terms of transferring. And over here, they assess all the, all the faculties equally. Like they, so if a person has a 70% in arts and they're trying to, transfer to Soto and if they have a 70% engineering and tra transfer to Soto, they'd be given the same importance but getting a 70% engineering is much much harder. So it's kind of not fair for both of them. I would say like UBC has a lot of international support on books but I don't see that in person and like in practice because uh, like I, I was going through a rough time, I tried to reach out to advisors regarding my course, uh, you know, registration and stuff. The support I used to get was like 10 days after my email and they always say that there's a backlog mm. but they know that they're expecting so many international kids and it's not that they're charging us the same, right? They, we are paying like 10, 10 times more than a student from here. So I feel that there's not much international support on in, in practice basically. I think that's the problem here. And plus everything on campus is, is too crowded these days. You have to wait about 30 minutes to get a sandwich or something so there should, there should be more or cafes or something on campus. And everything's super expensive. Like I've, I've heard like other campuses, things on campus are subsidized, but uh, in yeah, it's UBC, more expensive it's, if it's on campus. It's a, if it's on campus, yeah, yeah. then it's super pricey. And every, from the smallest things to the biggest things, everything's pricey. From the bookstore to all restaurants, everything is pricey, and that uh, I, it just adds up together. I think. Yeah. yeah. And also the buses are breaking down quite often these days. Are they? I don't know if that's something UBC's <laughs> can handle, um, but it's part of the city. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. yeah, I mean, but but also it gets pretty crowded. Like the buses get pretty crowded. Yeah, I missed my. So it's just some. Today some I missed my class but. because of the bus. I was on time, and the bus driver said, "Just get off the bus. There's there's gonna be another bus for you," because like it's it was full and then it broke down. Yeah. So I had to wait like two other buses, half an hour wasted. I have a car myself. But I can't bring it here because the parking is like yeah, fifteen dollars a day, right? Minimum. That's that's crazy. Right? Yeah. But is there something that UBC could change to make to become better somehow? Right now I'm doing okay in second year, but first year was real difficult. And I guess accessibility, ways to improve your academic standings, I guess. And I, it was a little confusing, the whole system, and like the courses I needed and where I had leeway and where I didn't. The system's real confusing, I guess. Registration, course selection, credits. It's not easy to follow sometimes. Fair enough, yeah. okay. Um, and are you happy with your choice so far? Yeah, I think I'm enjoying it this term a lot more than last year. All right, cool. So now that everything's on campus, it's going all right. And are you happy with your choice? Yeah, I am. Very much so, yeah. I love it here, it's been really good. Yes, I'm happy with my choice to come to UBC. Oh yeah, we're really yeah. happy. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. And, uh, overall, are you happy with your choice? Yeah, 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 100%. I wouldn't change it. Uh, it. It takes some getting used to, but I think uh, I don't. I'm not regretting it. I don't look back, and you know, you you kind of get used to the way people are here and the way the campus is. And once you get that figured out, you know, everything goes smooth. Okay. Wow, wasn't that interesting? Thanks for watching. Share, sure subscribe. I'll see you next time.
Maybe. Who knows? Wow, wasn't that interesting? Uh, should I, uh, fuck. Maybe. No oh, way, that way. Wow, wasn't that interesting? Um, thanks for watching. Should I subscribe? Keep watching other videos if you want. I don't care. And I'll see you next time. Maybe. Who knows?